Boys and girls, ladies and gents, today I will be guiding you through the process of installing a virtual machine on your current computer, whether you have a desktop or a laptop. Uh, we're going to get this set up for you so that you can, uh, well, I don't know what you're going to be doing with a virtual machine, whether it be uh, testing the vulnerability of specific operating systems, um, doing a little network testing, or maybe a little bit of ethical hacking. Uh, whatever it is that you plan on doing, um, you will be able to do all of that as soon as you get this all set up and ready to go. First thing you will need, obviously, is uh, your virtual machine. Um, so you can go to uh, virtualbox.org and download VirtualBox. This is what we will be using to install the multiple operating systems. Um, so right now they're at version 5.1. You can go ahead and install that. All right, so now that we have it downloaded, we are going to install VirtualBox. We'll guide you through the setup process. So we're going to click the next button, and you can just kind of you can just leave the default. You can just leave the default settings there and just click next. And then uh, you have a few choices here you can choose from if you want to create a start menu, shortcuts so forth you can just leave them all checked that's what we're going to do here and then we say yes to proceed with the installation and click install All right, so now we are going to finish. And this is what uh, we have when we open up the program. The first operating system that you should probably install uh, is Kali Linux. Now, since this is going to be our uh, penetration lab, or if you want to call it uh, ethical hacking lab, uh, we are going to be installing... Uh, we need to install multiple operating systems. Um, if you're getting into ethical hacking, you don't want to use just one operating system. Each operating system has different advantages and disadvantages. Um, so here we're going to install a few of them. And we are going to start out by installing Kali Linux. Um, so you can just head on over to Kali.org. Go to download Kali Linux. All right, so when we get to the downloads page, you're going to want to choose the installation uh, that makes sense according to uh, the operating system and computer that you're currently using. Um, it's advised to use a newer model computer if you're running a virtual machine with multiple operating systems. Uh, you definitely don't want to be using an older uh, Windows Vista with 2 gigs of RAM. You will want to use a more modern, uh, updated computer. I mean, technology is quite advanced uh, since Windows Vista. Um, but you're definitely going to want something that has at least 8 gigabytes of RAM, maybe an i5 or an i7 processor. Um, so, I mean, a 64-bit operating system is most likely what, uh, what you'll be using. So you just want to download the ISO file for the Kali Linux 64-bit. And then we'll just give that a minute to install or download and then after that downloads we'll uh, install it into our virtual machine alright so now that we have our ISO image downloaded we are going to use a virtual box here and install our Kali Linux um, first you want to name it um, you can give it whatever name you want but I'm just going to name it Kali Linux um, this is a Linux um, distribution. Um, this is a Linux operating system. For version, we are going to use Debian 64-bit, though. Click the next button. Um, now, as far as RAM goes, I always recommend at least 2 gigs, um, but that depends on how much RAM that you actually have on your computer. Um, I currently have 16, um, so I could actually I could go up to three or more if I if I needed to, 
but uh, for the purposes of this video we are going to just uh, use two gigabytes and then we want to create a virtual hard disk and then you can just uh, click next so choosing dynamically allocated will use up only the amount of space that it actually needs um, but I'm going to set a fixed size and as far as the size goes um, I'm going to use 20 gigabytes of hard drive space um, now it kind of depends on how big your hard drive is as well I mean if you're gonna if you only have a if you have a small hard drive you don't want to dedicate uh, 20 gigabytes or 50 gigabytes you're gonna want to use less than that but uh, 20 gigabytes is usually a good starting point and then we just click the create button All right, so we have Kali Linux um, set up. Um, now we just have to um, connect the ISO image file so that we can actually install Kali to the, uh, the virtual machine. So when you click the Start button, um, you'll be prompted to select the startup disk. Um, and we don't want to use the host drive. We, ac we actually want to navigate to the ISO file that we downloaded. So here is the ISO file that we downloaded. And we open that. And we click start. And then you'll see this window here that will pop open and we want to do a graphical install and then you're going to want to choose the language of your uh, choice um, for the purpose of this video we're going to select English because that's what I speak and I'm in the United States American English All right, so this is asking for a host name, which is used to identify uh, uh, the system on the network. Uh, we'll just go with the default. So this section is asking for a domain name. Um, if you have a domain name, you can go ahead and enter it. Otherwise, just leave it blank. All right, so here we will be setting the password uh, for root. Um, make sure you choose something uh, that's strong. You don't want to use an easy password. And choose your time zone. All right, and for partitioning, uh, we will just use the entire disk. Now it's asking if you want to use a network mirror. You can choose yes. Um, you can leave this blank. And we are going to choose yes here as well. All right, so we're just going to select this one. All right, installation is complete.
All right. Just give it a minute to boot up. All right, so we are going to log in as root. And the password that you made earlier. And there we go. Kelly Linux. All right, so we have one operating system installed into our virtual machine. Um, after that's complete, we can move on and install another one. All right, so I'm not going to go through the process of showing you how to install each and every operating system into the virtual machine because um, it'd be a little time consuming and it'd uh, prolong this video a little too much. Um, so basically every time you install another operating system, you're going to follow the same procedure as what you did when I showed you uh, how to install Kali. Um, basically you're just going to click the new button, you know, the name of the operating system, the type, version, and so forth, um, and then use your ISO file to install it. Alright, so I went ahead and installed a few operating systems here. I got Kali, Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 2003 Server, Backtrack, Knacktrack, Windows Server 2008. Uh, this should be a nice addition to your arsenal. I mean, just follow the outlines that I provided when uh, I installed Kali Linux. It's basically the same procedure for the other ones. Then you just click the Start button to boot up the operating system. So there you have it. We have two operating systems running at the same time. Windows 7 here on the left, Kali Linux on the right. Feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will be uploading more videos soon.